Hello, um, welcome back. It is, I don't even know what today is, um, but my name is Gemma and I reappear on the internet once every few years to make a video. Um, so I wanted to come on today and catch up with you guys um, and kind of like catch you up on my life. Um, but today I wanted to do my art school portfolio um, because I did get accepted into the art school of my choice. So I wanted to show you guys like what is in my portfolio. Um, I'm super interested in these kind of videos. I think they helped me a lot when I was like choosing what to put in my portfolio before I applied um, and I ended up getting into the school I wanted to. So I just wanted to show you guys what's in my portfolio. Um, my major is visual art with a focus in photography. So all of the stuff in my portfolio is photography. Um, and I got accepted to Cornish College of the Arts. So I just wanted to show you guys, I have like 20 or 19 photos in here. Um, I wanted to show you what I took to the school when I had the interview and what they saw and what I uploaded in my portfolio um, and how I got accepted. So yeah, I do, however, um, before we get started, I do want to just talk about everything that's happening really quick. Um, if you were watching this in the future, um, this is, I'm living or we're living right now in the time of George Floyd's murder and um, the COVID-19. And so I would like to provide some resources down below for you to donate and learn more about those things. Um, I just don't feel like I can make a video without mentioning that first. So um, we can get on with the video, but I just wanted to mention that first. So my work is in this big black folder. Um, it's a big black portfolio that I got from somewhere like Michael's or something like super, easy and like or office depot somewhere like that um you can also order them on amazon um, i recommend going with black just because you can't really go wrong um with something super simple um and so it has these pages that are like laminated like that um so that's a little peek of it um but i am going to be putting the pictures up here so that you can see as i talk about each one but i'm just going to go through each photo and my process of taking a photo and all of that stuff so on the first page there's just this best works um title page um i just wanted to book to start out with something that made it kind of like make sense as a whole piece um, and then on the last page my business card is right there um, just in case I'm bringing this portfolio to anything else I've done an art show and I had this on me when I did that just in case there were anyone that wanted to see so um yeah I do have a business card in the back from my information so the first photo um is this photo of my friend Keyshawn I'll put it right here um, and this photo I took in September of last year. Um, we took this in my bathroom actually. Um, and <laughs> that day, um, I was super uninspired, but I wanted to shoot my friend Keyshawn. And so I just said, Hey, come over and we'll figure out like what we shoot, you know, after you get here. And he came over and we were both just like, I don't know what we want to do. Like we're feeling kind of uninspired. And so um, we ended up, I just asked him, I was like, can I dip your fingers in glitter? Cause that just sounds fun. So we did. And um, I put blue like hair paint in his hair. And I was like, okay, let's like start with that and then see what happens. Um, and it ended up being so fun. So um, we just took this photo in my shower, um, in my room. Um, and I used flash and I think one red light, but you can't really see the red light at all. Um, but I did use like an on-camera external flash. And by the way, I shoot with a Canon um, 70D and a Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4. Okay, um, the second photo right here is this photo of my friend Lexi. Um, I love this photo. I took this photo in about October of last year, of 2019, um, and I took it at a creative meet. So I had just met her like five minutes before that. Um, it was just this like meetup for photographers and models in my area. Um, and so I took this photo of her like right after we met and we just paired up and had a great time. And I love, love, love this photo. Um, it was just taken in the middle of the field um, at a park. And so she had these like little stars that she put on her cheeks. Um, I, I always like to put things on cheekbones cause it really like highlights that area and like it, it always glows naturally. So it's super pretty. Um, and so I definitely recommend doing that. And then like jewelry is always really fun. And our shoot was only like 20 minutes, but um, we ended up getting that. And that was my favorite shot from that shoot. Next up is this photo of my friend Seth. Um, and he is like one of my favorite people to shoot with ever. Um, and we shot this photo, I think it was maybe our second or third time shooting, um, but we'd known each other for a while. Yeah, we shot this photo actually right next to where I am right now, which is my curtains in front of my curtains. 
um, in my room and I just lit him half on one side with a blue light, half on the other um, with a red based light and then um, got this cool like half on half effect on his face. Um, and he had green nails. So I thought like the blue and the pink, the green will really pop out. And I think it really did in the photo. Um, and then the gloss of his lips. I also always love glossy lips. If I could give tips um, for anything to include in your photos, like colored nails are always good, piercings and jewelry is good. Um, he has even like these little like stick on eye decals that are really good. And then like glossy lips, just to add like another texture to your photo. It always makes things look like a lot better um, and just more dynamic. Um, the next photo is another one of Keyshawn. Um, and this is a photo that I took um, for a feature in the magazine called She Magazine. Um, it's an indie magazine based out of New York. Um, and they asked me to do a feature for them. They reached out, which was really, really awesome. Um, and so we took this photo on the side of the road um, near my house and he had like this amazing blazer. Keyshawn always brings the best wardrobe options to shoot. So he had a really amazing blazer on and I just had him stick out of the sunroof of my car. Um, and we just found like some blue sky so that it was a big contrast of pink and blue. Again, with the pink and blue, I really like contrasting warm and cool tones. Um, and so, yeah, it was like the middle of the day. So the sun was shining on him and I was like laying on the ground um, <laughs> underneath him like to try to get that perfect angle. It was cool to see it in print too because it ended up being in that magazine. Okay, next we have this photo of Kayla. Again, with the septum piercing, I'm realizing that like everyone I've shot with has a septum piercing so far, but um, this is Kayla and yes, her eyes are really that blue. Uh, they're so blue and beautiful. Kayla is amazing and gorgeous. Um, and so she had this like kind of romantic Victorian inspired top. And I thought like, let's contrast that with some colored lighting. And that's when I started shooting with colored lighting a lot because I went through this phase and you'll see it throughout this whole book. I went through this phase of colored lighting. And even right now I have colored lighting, but I'm kind of like now doing a little bit more neutrals. But when I was in this phase, I just did lots of color. Um, and so I had this blue to kind of bring out the blue in her eyes. Um, and I thought it made for a really, really pretty photo. I like that you can see a little bit of her tattoos at the edge of the photo, um, just because it kind of contrasts with how soft the photo is and how soft she looks. Um, also for this photo, I did do a little bit of like Vaseline lip balm around the lens of my camera. Um, just to, this is a cheaper lens. I think it wasn't my, um, it wasn't the Sigma, Sigma lens. And most of these were actually shot with a kit lens or a portrait lens and not the Sigma lens. Sorry to confuse you. Um, but if you have any questions about any specific picture, let me know and I'll let you know what I shot it with. Um, but for this picture, I put lip balm on the uh, lens to make it a little bit hazy, um, not all the way around, but just like on the edge. Um, and that helped to make it a little bit more like romantic and hazy. This next photo is a photo of my friend Tessa, um, another septum ring pierce, like another septum piercing photo, but it's fine. Um, and this one was my first shoot with Tessa, and this is like before we became friends. She's one of my good friends now, but I become friends with a lot of people that I shoot with, which is super cool because I love to create art with people and also like connect with them. That's like my favorite part of doing this. Um, but this is Tessa, um, and the background actually was not blue at all. Um, I manipulated this in editing. Um, but we shot this in front of my white wall, just like over in the corner over there. Um, and this was in September of last year. Um, and I had her put like lots of glitter on. This shoot was like right after Euphoria had a huge moment. And so we were really, really inspired by like jewels in, in Euphoria because I felt like um, Tessa most similarly she looks most similar to Jules out of anyone on the show. So I wanted her to kind of do an inspired look. This next one is another photo of Keyshawn. I'm realizing how many photos I have of him in here. And I, I'm like not mad about that because he's one of my favorite people to shoot with. I think I probably have a few more in here actually. Um, but this is Keyshawn again. This was last June. And this was like one of my first shoots that I did um, when I decided that I wanted to do photography like full time. So this was kind of like an exciting moment for me in figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. Um, this we just shot downtown in the city that I live in. Um, and it was really, really fun. It was one of the first times working with Keyshawn. It might've been the first time I worked with Keyshawn. Um, and you can definitely see that my style has developed since then, but this is kind of like the beginning of things. Um, and we'd like to play with the red and the yellow. I just think like 
doing one, like doing more than one color at a time is kind of preferable for me. It's like doing two different colors that work together. And he has a little yellow flower tucked on his ear, which I thought like tied in with the yellow background, which is fun. This next photo is a photo of my friend Vanna. And this was actually the first time Vanna and I did a shoot. And then we've gone on to do a lot after that. She, this is her first time like modeling or first time in front of the camera. And she was like, I'm kind of uncomfortable. So I just put on music and I had her just kind of like dance around and play with her hair because her hair is amazing. So um, this is kind of what we got for, from that. It was also shot in front of my curtains. Uh, same to the photo from earlier, the red and the blue. Um, it was shot in, my, in front of my curtains as well. And similar setup, just an orange and a yellow instead. Um, but again, with the jewelry, it really makes the photo pop, I think. Next is from a concert that I got to shoot. Um, this was from Floor in October uh, in Seattle. Um, and this was so much fun. I went to this show with my mom um, and I, it was really, really fun. I got to shoot it for Lost Boy Crow and Floor. Um, and so that was really, really cool. Um, this is a McKinley and I love the contrast of the orange tones and then the purple. I thought that that made this photo really stand out. So I wanted to put it in my portfolio. Since then, I've definitely taken concert photos that I like better, um, but this one was definitely like one of my first ones that I thought was really cool. So I wanted to include that in my portfolio. Yeah, I just love the energy of concert photos. I think it's so cool to see someone like mid motion um, and it's very, very fun. So that's that. Next is another photo of my friend Vanna. And this is, this was taken in an arcade last fall. Um, this was after we had been shooting for a while and she kind of like was a little more comfortable. Yeah, it was just really fun. Definitely go to an arcade if you can, when it's safe to do so, and if it's safe to do so in your area, because they're a great location to shoot, because they're free and you just have to ask them like if it's okay to shoot in them. Um, but that's Vanna again. And I just had her stand in front of um, one of the games. And so the games reflected in the glasses that she was wearing. I think they were just my reading glasses. Yeah, they were, that I just like threw on her. Um, and then the game reflected into the glasses and it was so cool. So. Um, that's like one of my favorite photos that I've done. Um, um, my next photo is my photo of my friend Hannah, um, another purple and orange photo. You'll see a lot that I like to do oranges and reds and purples. Um, those are kind of the colors I gravitate towards because I think they're the most flattering on the skin. Um, and so this one was taken in my front yard um, and it was around Halloween. We wanted to do something kind of like orange, like Halloween themed. Um, and so this was right in front of my house actually um and was super simple to take um, i just brought a bunch of lights up and had her sit down and um pose for that photo and it was very quick um what's fun i think i think it's good like instagram content for her too the next photo is another photo of my friend Keyshawn. um this i had him put a silver eye on uh, to match the silver of the shirt because i thought that texture with a colored light on it would be super cool and i love the way that the colored light bounces off of um the shirt and then the nails and the tattoos and everything just like pulls together into one. And I really, really love that photo. Yeah, that was also just taken in the corner of my room, which a lot of them were. I, most of the photos were taken in my room, um, except the ones that are like outdoors. The next one is another one of my friend Tessa. Um, and this was actually taken downtown um, in a city near us. Um, and just using a street light, it kind of looks like it's like flash, but it actually isn't. It's just using a street light. Um, and this was super, like we wanted a super glam look and a super grunge location. I think that's always a good contrast, just like glam and grunge. Um, so we decided to do this, which I actually really, really like. This is just me realizing like, oh, I actually do like these photos. I haven't looked at this in a while, so it's kind of weird. And then the next photo is another photo of my friend Hannah. Um, we took this in a field near our houses actually, um, super close to home, but uh, we just stumbled upon it while we were doing our portrait shoot. Um, and it ended up being super pretty. I think the sun was like in the right place where it hit her highlight. And I love accentuating highlight and skin and making everything look super glowy and pretty. So that was kind of a perfect example of that. Um, and the sun was just too bright for her to open her eyes. So I had her just close her eyes, which I think works a lot as like a tip is if you have your model laying like this, like laying toward the sun and they can't open their eyes, just have them gracefully close their eyes and pose that way. Kind of like an Ariana Grande situation. Um, it's super pretty and actually works out really well a lot of the time. The next photo is from 
like the second concert I ever shot. And if you don't know, like my desired field is editorial and concerts. Um, but this was from a show that I did for the band Starf, if you know them. Um, they're actually so good. And I found them from the Fault in Our Stars soundtrack and I've been listening to them ever since. So um, it was really cool to be able to shoot their show. <laughs> they were really cool, but their show was so, so good. So I took this photo. Um, they had a bunch of astronauts come out. On, well, they had a bunch of dancers as astronauts come out on stage and um, one of them jumped into the crowd and hit this pose and I caught it on camera and I'm so glad that I did because I think it's such a cool moment, um, especially because it's an astronaut. So I think it's really fun. The next photo is a photo of my friend Vanna again. Um, this was in my garage and I just had a projection on her actually. So I had one colored light on one side and then I have a projector. And so I put the projector on her on the other side and I was projecting music videos over her to get cool textures over her. So um, that's what happened here. Um, I think I'm trying to figure out what music video is this, but I don't know. And then glitter, glitter always. Like I put glitter on pretty much everyone and I love it. Um, and then this kind of like dreamy shirt that would definitely reflect the color as well. Um, and so there's that. And I love the tones of this photo. I think it's super pretty. And I love the blue tones because I don't use blue as much. We are almost done. Oh my God. I feel like I've been talking for seven years. Um, we have three left. Um, okay, so the next one is another photo of my friend Seth. This is actually the same day that we took the one of the red and the blue in front of the curtain. This was the same day. Um, so he still has the green nails and all the same like makeup and stuff. Um, but this was the first shot we took that day and I was super inspired by his pink eyeshadow and I wanted to accentuate that with a red based light. And so I just put a red light on him and then used the flash. Um, and when you use a flash, it kind of cancels out some of the red light. And so the red isn't as strong, which can work sometimes if you use it in your favor. So I did. Um, and I just love like the jewelry and everything um, and that you can see all like the gems on his face super clearly. I love that about this photo. Um, and I included him here because I thought it was a really strong face shot. The next photo is a, another photo of my friend Hannah. And this we shot the same day that we shot the photo of her outside. Um, in the dark in the orange. And this was about October of last year. This is also in my shower, um, <laughs> which I've done a lot of shooting in there, I guess. Um, and so I had her wet her hair down, which I thought made her look really soft. Um, and I love the way that her skin looks in this photo. Like she has amazing skin and it looks great here. Um, just cause it's like glowing and so good. Um, I love the detail of her nail. Like one of her nails is painted with a face on it. I mean, her jewelry again is really pretty, uh, but her skin looks amazing. And so I just wanted to highlight that with a yellow base light. And then the last photo in my portfolio is this photo of Omar Apollo um, from last September that I got to shoot. Um, that show was so much fun. It was really, really fun. Um, he came to a college near me and I got to shoot that show. It was really, really cool. Um, this photo was the first concert photo that I took that I was like, oh my God, I can do this. Um, and so it was very, very fun. Um, I remember I don't really put photos in black and white a lot. Like you can see, I don't have any other black and white photos in my portfolio except this one. Um, but I wanted to do, cause I feel like it was such a classic photo. Like it was such a classic concert picture, like just with him, like singing like such a high note and hitting that moment. And I felt like it was just a moment in time that needed like black and white. Cause it felt like a classic picture. So that's why I chose to do that instead of color. Um, cause typically I do color and I don't really like to do black and white. Cause I, I feel like a lot of my work is based in the color and that's what makes it exciting. So, um, yeah, I've definitely gone through phases though with changing up the different styles that I do. And I think my style has definitely evolved since then. But, um, and how I, by the way, how I ordered my pictures in here um, is based on the, um, pretty much based with like the colors of each one and how the colors work together. I just wanted the colors to complement each other in each page. So I just made, I laid them all out and saw like which ones would go together the best and just pick them. So they're not really in any particular order or any kind of like chronological order but they're just in order of what I thought looked nice next to each other on the page. And I think that makes a difference with like any kind of meeting that you have. If you do have a meeting in person um, where people look over your portfolio, I think it does help to have it look aesthetically pleasing for them. Um, so I guess that's kind of all for today. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am a photographer and creative director based out of Seattle. My links will be in the description below if you'd like to follow and um, we can talk about art or whatever. Um, and leave me a comment down below if you have any questions about specific material or anything I used for each photo because I'd be happy to answer that. Um, and any kind of gear questions, I'd be happy to answer about what I use. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope this video was helpful and educational for you. Um, and I will see you soon. Peace.